Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. I just woke up, I have a lot to do today. Let's get started. Oh, and everyone kind of wanted to me to talk about my eyebrows. I will talk about my eyebrows when I start doing my eyebrows today. But first of all, I have a lot to do right now. And right now, I'm going to make a smoothie to start my day. I look ratchet, I gotta have a shower. My hair is so greasy, look at this. I have to put makeup on and I have to get ready for the day. So to get ready, I'm going to make a smoothie. So let's make one. Okay, so I'm using the Nutribullet right now. Okay, I'm just using this size of a cup, just a small little one. Grab my cutting board. I'm gonna use a banana right here, a banana. I'm also going to use an apple. Put it in, in the cup. Right, bananas in. Apples and bananas. Okay, I'm also gonna use half a carrot just for some vegetables in there, um, like so. Apples, banana, and carrots. So like that. And then I'm going to take some fruit juice. This is banana berry. I'm just gonna pour some of this in, like so. Put the lid on. So here's my morning smoothie, very fresh. I'm going to try some. Oh my God, it's really, really good. Put a straw in it and I'm good to go to watch some shows. So I just had a shower and I am dressed. I'm wearing this. This shirt here I got from Aeropostal. It just looks like this all the way down. Tank top underneath I got at Urban Planet and it's like lacy on the back. It just looks cute poking through there. Anyways, I am about to do my eyebrows. Well, my makeup in general. I have argan oil on my hair. I just let my hair sort of air dry a little bit as much as possible to avoid heat on my hair. So I just have argan oil soaking in and then when I'm done my makeup, I'll just quickly low blow dry it. Since I'm doing my eyebrows, I've gotten lots of questions on why my eyebrows look the way they do. So this is the left one. This is all natural. There's no makeup. I'm not wearing any makeup at all. My eyebrows are extremely thin. If you can see that there. They are okay here. Okay. But they are just horrible here. And this one looks like this. Like that. I have explained this actually quite a few times about my eyebrows. They've been like this for quite a while. Um, since like 2009 I think. They've gotten a lot better, but basically what happened was um, I had extremely, naturally I have extremely bushy eyebrows. I'm a very hairy person in general. Scottish pride. This is just a spoolie to um, get my hairs in the place that I would like them to be. And I always wanted shaped eyebrows. I wanted thin eyebrows and they just, like they did not shape my face. Like they were literally like just like this straight across and I hated them and my friend, my really good friend at the time, we were going to the lake together with our boyfriends and she's like, oh my God, you're such a pretty girl, but those eyebrows do not frame your face. Let me do it for you. And I looked at her eyebrows and said, those are what I want. Like sort of, you know, thicker here and then they go really thin and arch up. I always love that arch. I've always wanted that arch. Right now I feel them in the same as always the NYC Tribeca Toast right here. Anyways, and with an angled brush, this one is a Sigma E65. If you want my Sigma coupon or anything like that, I'll put my code down below. Allowed her to do it and they were beauty. Bull. They were perfect here and they went into just a, like a slight arch and she completely plucked all this way how it is now right here and they were just like perfect. You're like I'm talking perfect. So happy with them and I was like so happy screaming with joy and then maybe a month later when the hair started growing back because she said you know when the hair starts growing back all here just pluck that. Don't pluck the shape at all just pluck that and around right just to keep the shape because they're very easy to maintain. Well me I plucked them but then I was like, you know what? I want them thinner and I don't really do well with shaping eyebrows because I'd never done it before. So I just was like, you know, I'm gonna take some here and some here and some here and just a little bit and just make them thinner. And when I was done, it wasn't like this. It was worse than this. I had absolutely no ha hair here. I had 
one hair every time it went down, you know? At least I have now a few hairs down here. And I had nothing on the arch. I just had a little bit of hairs here. And I, because when you're close up on the mirror doing it, you don't really know. When I went back, I was like, oh my God. I had no eyebrows. And then I started filling them in and drawing them on and stuff. Now they have grown back dramatically. I know people are like, oh, what's wrong with your eyebrows? But they have grown back dramatically. I actually have some sort of eyebrow now. Honestly, I am so happy and in love with my eyebrows now. Not these ones, but when I go and shape them and put the powder on. Because honestly, I just draw trace over the shape that's already there. I just make it more thick. Because I'm seriously just waiting for my eyebrows to grow back fully. They may never, but I'm happy with it because I use this and then I use an NYC pencil. So that was basically the story. Don't do it if you can't, if you're scared or if you're questioning it or if you don't know what you're doing. At least watch a YouTube video. There's tons of YouTube videos. How to pluck, where to pluck, when to pluck, what to pluck, you know, just stuff like that. Um, I didn't do that. I kind of was like, cool, I can do this and just did it. So I ruined my eyebrows. I love them. Once they're done, I'm just going to quickly do them and show you. So here is the before of the eyebrows. And this is them after I put powder and a little bit of pencil on. Um, I feel that they frame my face a lot better like this. And I don't really care if people don't like them. I honestly love my eyebrows like this now. I've gotten the shape that I liked. I went through many shapes. Some days, the day, some days though, I do them more boxy here. Sometimes I do them more natural and faded in. Sometimes I'll do them longer, shorter, thinner, thicker. Some days I'll have a really big arch. Some days I'll have them honestly like straight across there. That's kind of why I like having the eyebrows that I do now because I can play around and do so many shapes with them. But this is my, um, signature one or the one I do most often it's very actually simple frames my face it's not too dramatic and so that basically answers a lot of your guys questions now I'm gonna do the rest of my face and makeup hope that helped you guys because everyone always has lots of questions about my eyebrows and saying that I got screwed on them no I did it to myself honey but now I'm so happy with them so um I'm just gonna continue and this vlogmas is probably gonna be super long and the longest one yet but that's okay so let's just continue hello everybody so we just went some Christmas shopping, I guess you could say. I hate the malls at Christmas because it's so like busy and people are rude and everything. Rich. But I did want to tell you guys something. If you guys live in my city, I live in Saskatoon, do not go to the Starbucks in Target in Center Mall. I've been to the one in Lawson. They are so nice in there. And literally, they're nice every Starbucks. Like, Everyone. Every Starbucks they're are awesome. so nice. And you guys know that me and my boyfriend, we love Starbucks and we go like, we literally go every day. But this one, they were so mean, like everyone there. My friend was working the till and she was obviously nice to me, but she, she went for a break and everyone else was getting all their orders wrong. And these, this guy, like every order that was wrong, he dumped it down the sink dumped it down the sink. He kept dumping everything down the sink. I was like, oh my God, like. I'll take those. Wow, <laughs> he's just dumping them down the sink. I got, um, you guys have seen it before. It's the iced green tea latte. Just the green tea latte, but ice. So my cup was already written on, because when you pay for it, they write on the cup and put it at the side. So it was already ready to go. And then the lady said, okay, green tea lemonade, make a green tea lemonade. And I said, no, it's the iced green tea latte. And she went, Ugh, and she put her head back like that and then went back to the counter, even though I already paid like 10 minutes ago and got a red cup because she thought I said the green tea latte. I said, no, 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 the iced version. She goes, oh my God, we don't make that. I said, yeah, you do. It's on your website and I have it almost every time I come here. Like she was so mean to me, the way she was talking, her attitude, she was really rude. It looks a little the better now. The bottom of it, look at all, she didn't even stir it. This is what, it's at the top of it, look at, I haven't taken one sip of this yet. She put milk in it, she put a few ice cubes, and then she put the powder on top of it, put the lid on, and said, I hope it's good, and gave it to me. I hope it's good. And I said, are you gonna mix it? Aren't you gonna mix it at least? Like, I don't want milk with powder on top. When she closed the lid, it like poofed out. So I just advise not going back there, not going to her. Hello. This is Santa. This is a candy cane. And this is stuff. That's Christmas. And this is their tree. Look, that's my mom's tree and my dad's tree and my brother's tree. And everyone's looking at me. <laughs> There's everybody looking at me. Ha 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 ha. Look at the angel on top. It's so angelic. There's Santa here. Oh, and this one moves. It doesn't work. 
Mommy! <laughs> oh! So creepy, so creepy. So creepy, so creepy, so creepy, so creepy. It sounds creepy. Oh, Merry Christmas! You too, Santy. Oh, God, there it goes again. Fight, 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 fight. It's night time now. We ate supper at my mom's house. I was at my mom's house. It's my parents' house. It's my mom and my dad. And I went to Walmart and I got a cell phone charger. It looks like this. It's the only thing we got there. It's the only thing I needed because literally mine disappeared. And I'm not joking when I said I didn't lose it. I did not lose it. It literally disappeared. Not joking when I say that. It would be like at some sort of wall outlet and it's nowhere. It's just, it's weird. And I looked all over my whole house and it's gone. And I didn't take it anywhere with me. I've looked at my purse, even though I wouldn't have put it in my purse anyway. It's gone, we looked all last night till 3 a.m. and all day today, so I had to get one. So I don't even know if this one's a good one. It was literally the only one at Walmart. Target didn't have any. My cell phone company that I use, I went to their store, they didn't have any either. This is the only one. This is the only one left. So fine, yeah. 